Good day everyone, this is Junaid Khan, a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and thank you very much for being on this channel where you can get information about Canadian immigration, TRVs uh, and what is going on in Canada these days. So in today's video, it's a little bit not about the immigration processes, it's basically about uh, the videos I've been watching from last couple of days, uh, a queries I've been getting from last couple of days and it is mainly about the uh, refugee status, uh, mainly about the asylum seekers. We will be talking about the stats, what's going on from last couple of years and specifically the last year, 2023, and how people are having a different information about this particular stream. And uh, I would say a lot of people have been misguided about this as well. I will be sharing a little bit of information that might be useful uh, for someone who is looking forward to it or at least you should have this information if uh, someone is uh, telling you about uh, to proceed this because this is not for everyone and there are a lot of legal matters in, in, involved not just Canada there is United Nations involved in this category so you have to be very careful before you make a plan. So initially, I want to talk about uh, Government of Canada is basically a little concerned about this issue as well because the number of asylum seekers in Canada is getting increased day by day. And if we compare this report from last couple of years and specifically from 2023, I will show you on the screen that what are the numbers and how it is significantly higher as compared to some of the previous years. So. Um, initially, I'm going to start with the stats and uh, going forward, I will be telling you what's going on in this process and why is Immigration Canada and not just Immigration Canada, overall, uh, federal government, uh, what are the measures they are going to take and they are looking forward to take some measures in regards to this uh, particular stream. So if we talk about on your screen, you will see uh, I'm sharing a picture regarding the stats on asylum seekers in Canada and these pictures, uh, these screenshots have been taken from the UNHCR website where they're specifically talking about the number of people who land in Canada uh, have taken uh, asylum and refugee in Canada and what are the stats, what's going on with their cases and how they are proceeding with it. Uh, if we look at this, the facts and figures for 2023, it shows you that 144,035 people uh, took asylum in Canada in 2023, which is 1.5 times higher as compared to 2022. That is a significant amount of numbers which basically took a part of taking refugee status in Canada. I mean, not just status today, but these are the number of cases have been applied in Canada on the basis of asylum. So if we talk about the global number, if we talk about the, the global displacement, it is 110 million. This is the report by UNHCR. So UNHCR is saying that 110 million people globally displaced in regards to the asylum and the refugee status where people have been harmed and mistreated or they have a fear of death and threats in regards to their race, religion and uh, prosecution and, and other matters. In regards to 110 million, 144,035 uh, is an application number which Canada has been um, applied to Canada, not accepted. I'm not too sure about the acceptance numbers uh, directly, but these are the number of the application which have been applied to seek refugee in Canada. So uh, in regards to the next, uh, you will see on your screen, there is a graph of uh, from the stars from 2000 to 2023. So it's a 13 years graph. And if you look into it, 2022 was the 91,710 application where 2023 is 144,000 and 35 application that is a huge number gap between uh, comparing to just a one year to another year why is that why is people going to do that and and what are the what are the situation that's a different story we are not going to talk about this in, in today's video but I will definitely want to show you the stats from the UNHCR 
and data collected from the Immigration Refugee Board of Canada. Now, if we talk about uh, the countries who are taking part in this, Mexico is on the top of the list, and the percentage of, uh, of a Mexican people applied is about 17% out of 144,035. After Mexico, the second uh, country who took part in this application is India and then Nigeria, Turkey, and Colombia. These are the five countries on top of the list and rest of the countries are basically in a separate percentage. Now, uh, after after this, the the, the screen you are, I've, I've just shared is about the asylum seeker in regards to the provinces in Canada. So if you look into the graph now, 46% of the people who took, uh, who applied this uh, to seek protection in Canada is from the province of Quebec and 44% is from the province of Ontario. So that means the burden of taking care of these application is basically mainly on two provinces in Canada, Quebec and Ontario. Rest of the provinces uh, the numbers are not really significant. They're literally like 2%, 4% and, and, simi and similarly like that. But 46 and 44% is a significant number. And I would say um, what's going on in today's date where, where government is taking part and trying to disperse a number of applicants and refugee claimants to another provinces uh, is, is kind of right because uh, two of these provinces are basically managing all these application not just application we we still have to talk about that once you apply for this protection in Canada or taking an asylum or refugee there are significant amount of uh, things which is basically on the government of that country that they have to provide in terms of shelter and uh, the price uh, sort of where you have to maintain your living or maybe schooling for your children and help you out for the jobs and stuff. So um, uh, here I also want to talk about the recent news where government is basically thinking about dispersing some of the amount of refugees in different provinces like New Brunswick and Alberta. Um, I'm not too sure if the significant measures have been taken on this now, but this was on the news a couple of days ago that the federal government is basically pushing some of these asylum seekers to, to the different provinces out of the Quebec and Ontario. But then there was a pushback from those provinces as well that they might not be able to accommodate them uh, specifically the names I heard it was New Brunswick and uh, Alberta so going forward I also want to talk about the the claims finalized by uh, RPD the refugee protection division uh, in the year 2023 and 70 uh, let me see the exact number yeah at 72 percent claims were actually accepted 19% was rejected, 3% was already in the queue, and the withdrawn percentage was 6%. So if we look into this percentage, um, we need to find out another information that most of the applications were applied in regards to uh, the asylum and refugee protection system. Um, it has been accepted, 72% uh, 70, of those applications have been accepted uh, from, from Refugee Board. Um, now. Um, first of all, we need to know one more information that these applications are not being processed by Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada, but there's a separate department, IRB, Immigration Refugee Board, who take initiative to take care of these uh, refugee and asylum uh, seekers applications. So, other than the reports of UNHCR and Canada and, and the stats, we also need to talk about the basics of this application because there has been con confusion. I've been getting a lot of calls and, and people who are there and, and there are different information people have been carrying uh, in regards to these applications. So make sure this is not an immigration application where your, your visa can be granted or not. I mean, if you genuinely in this situation, then this is what this is one application for you. And uh, you have to be very careful before just putting a claim and, and not having the significant amount of threats and uh, uh, and in, in the situation to be applied uh, to to apply this application. So you have to make sure that you are basically on the solid grounds to be on this application. So I also want to talk about the video I've uh, watched recently in regards to the asylum seeker on the port of entry in Canada and people have been saying that 
Canada Canadian government or CBS officers are basically pushing people to to seek asylum at the port of entry. Uh, this is not how it works actually. Why CBS officer or Immigration Canada will push someone to seek asylum where they are not in this situation and specifically when a person seek asylum or apply for the protection in Canada um, there are certain type of burdens where immigration has to take care of like their housing they have to pay for their uh, personal belongings they have to pay for their schooling the children's and, and families and everything so this is not right but the answer to that query is like if the border agency at the port of entry will refuse you the entry let's suppose if you are arriving canada on a valid visa but immigration officer at that point is not very really convinced the reason of your visit they can always refuse you to enter canada no matter what and once they refuse you at that point now there are some certain information they have to pass on to that person and one of that information is if you are in protection if you need protection at this point of time if you are basically running away from your home country then you can also apply for asylum and not go back to the country so that could be that matter portrayed a little wrongly that they that canada or immigration or cbs is basically pushing people or forcing people to seek asylum thank you very much